Hey guys! Gee, it has been extremely too long since I made a sneaker video. I mean, the last one I made, yeah, it was the Supreme video, but still, that was even long ago. That was like a month or so ago. What better way <laughs> to come back rather than to show you a massive pickup? I have, I have about 25 pairs of shoes, so if you need to pause, go make some popcorn, get your glass of wine, what have you, go ahead and do that now because we're going to be here for a while. I'm not going in any like special order, I'm just grabbing the shoes as I pull them from my wall. So without any further ado, let's stop wasting time and get into the shoes. I just picked these up <laughs> yesterday. If you don't have a pair of these, maybe not this exact colorway, but this shoe, I'm so I picked up the chrome pair. These look so bomb on feet. It's a chrome blush in photos with flash photography. Gorgeous. Pause real quick. Can we give some attention to the highlight that I have going on today? This um, like rosy gold pink highlight I have. Okay, back into the sneakers. So these are the Vapor Maxes. Vapor Maxes are extremely comfortable. I have tried on shoes that have the boost technology <clears throat> vapor max is shitting on all of all of them do you hear me <laughs> because oh uh, yes just if you get a chance make sure you pick up a pair in any color that you desire you won't regret it next up some jordan ones oh these are the all-star ones so uh they had Nike Chicago, I, I think all Nikes were doing it. Nike Chicago was allowing like a few days for their employees to get 50% off the entire store. And I took advantage. With that, I got the Jordan OVO um, matching sweatsuit. And I picked up the All Star ones. This like chameleon iridescent <clears throat> leather is so nice looking to me i haven't worn these yet as some of you may or may not know um space jam is my ultimate favorite movie after that it would be aladdin but of course with space jam being my favorite movie i had to get the entire space jam collection so <laughs> part of that was these space jam nines these are so sick like I don't, like I, black and red are my favorite colors so the 23 on the back with this basketball I don't know if you guys can see it come on focus on me with the jump man in it that is so freaking dope to me showing you another pair of vapor maxes and this is in the lavender colorway so pretty I've worn these countless times already as you can probably tell from the bottom these are so 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 pretty to me they make any they're like a staple for any outfit to be completely honest and i love wearing this with like a black and white outfit something that's businessy going to the office and then throwing these on girl yes absolutely show you my very first pair of vapor maxes it is the all black they call it the triple black but honestly this these are not, like the bubble down here is not as dark as the triple blacks that came out in lab. So these are the triple blacks that came out like in regular store, I guess you could say. I'm not really sure if I'm allowed to show you these sneakers only because of the company I work for, but all opinions and views are my own. So do not penalize me for anything that I show you. <laughs> I grabbed the Vans Skate Highs in black and white. Yes, everybody has these, I know. I grabbed them because I use them as my festival shoes. I wore these to Golf Ball in New York City. They're, I wanna say they're comfortable, but they're not really comfortable. Like after a few hours, my feet did start to hurt, but I do like the look of them and the outfit I wore with them it did complement it pretty well I have no shame in camping out for a pair of sneakers that I really want I camped out so I could get a pair <clears throat> also for my nephew 
So these are the Jordan Royal Ones. Amazing. As you can tell, I, I like changing my aglets. I changed the aglets on my <clears throat> Jordan Band Ones to a gold. And then I got some gun metal silver aglets for the Royal Ones. And I, don't, I just, I like changing them up because, you know, it gives it a little customization. It, and I'm the type of person, I, I give attention to detail, so I wanted to change it up. I got the aglets from Amazon, so if you want some, I'll leave the link for the store that I got mine from down below. These are the Chinese New Year's. And all the trouble I went through to pick these up, and I still have not worn them. They're still in their original box all of that these though are so fire and the only reason why i haven't worn them is because i don't want to just throw them on with anything you feel me like i want them to have their time to shine when i bring them out to play so yeah these are the chinese new years they're really dope i like i like the inside even though nobody really is going to see the inside of my shoe um yeah the Jordan 12 Chinese New Year for grade school. The one for adults is also nice, but the colorway, in my opinion, for grade school is a whole lot better. I grabbed oh, these leather Air Force Ones from Nike Lab. Oh, in case you didn't know, there is a Nike Lab now in Chicago. It's at... 669 North Michigan. I highly advise you to visit because there's only two in the country. So come on by and go to Nike Lab. It's on the fifth floor of Nike Chicago. And the setup changes every so often, but it's really dope. So back to the shoe. I got these baby blue um, leather Air Force Ones from Lab. I'm typic I typically don't really get Air Force Ones. I grabbed these because one the leather quality is a one and the color is amazing as I mentioned I did go to Gov Ball in New York City I grabbed two pairs of bands so I could have them as my festival shoes so I grabbed the old-school skate highs and I also got this all white pair to customize I customized them myself so let's actually get into detail about what I did so Oh, and I also plan to wear these to Lala to see the Migos perform. They super lit. So I have here two bodies, two women, female bodies. It says bad and bougie. Forgive the dirt because, you know, it, yeah, yeah I wore them to the festival. So it says bad and bougie. Right here it says raindrop, drop tops. The marker kind of spread and bled a little bit after I sprayed crepe protect on there that did not make me happy but it's all good it's whatever um then I did like a little drug theme in the front with pills some acid a blunt my attempt at a marijuana leaf <laughs> and then I drew waves on this side and I wrote slippery on this one I put what the price with dollar signs how great with a cross for chance. Uh, oh, dang. I forgot to show you. All ass is on the back. Uh, Wu-Tang performed too, but I didn't even wear these shoes the day they were performing. But I did the Wu-Tang symbol. I put cream. And then I wrote 36 chambers right there. And Childish Gambino. Whew, I love him, girl. Um, I put Stay Woke creeping on the back of the shoe his performance i'm gonna just i'm gonna just put little clips of of my favorites in here new york city <laughs> Woo! <laughs> 
oh shit, like, oh my god. We're basically fucking right now. Oh shit. You be like following her and shit. It's like crazy. You're like feeling super eyes. She's like looking in your eyes and shit. Like it's like it's, it's magic, but then something awful happens. The girl whose party it is comes out and she's like, yo, the neighbors called the cops. This shit's getting shit. It was dope. It was so dope. And then when he announced that that was going to be his only performance for the year, I was so happy to be there. If you were there, comment down below. So I can high five you virtually. This is a shoe that you can find in Lab. There's three colorways in Lab. And there's a bunch of colorways in the Nike store. You also have the option to um, a Nike ID it online. So what I grabbed was the all black with white Nike sock racer. When I tell you that these light isn't even the beginning to describe how comfortable these shoes are. I highly recommend that you go true to size only because this arch right here in the shoe literally falls in your arch and I was gonna go up a half size so that way my toes didn't look so noticeable but it wasn't comfortable so I definitely went ahead and grabbed a six and a half these are comfortable AF a pair of Pumas from the Rihanna Fenty collection I have the red velvet creepers Creepers are so comfortable to me and as you can see, like I said, I like attention to detail. I did add um, my own laces. These were from American Apparel, R.I.P.A.A. But I just put these at the top so it could give it like a little bow effect. These are the Cinderella Air Force Ones. I tried to get them on the sneakers app, failed. I tried to see if Nike Chicago had them, they didn't have them. So. I was like, you know what, that's fine. I guess I grabbed, got an ill. But then when I went to Boston and I went to Concepts and they had them, even though it was for like retail price, I was like, yeah, I need these in my life. These are so freaking pretty. This lavender is amazing. I'm going to end up changing the laces to something else. Um, the sequins, the inside is also leather. The confetti in there is so cute. I just love these. It is the pink bow sneakers. These are so freaking cute. I couldn't really choose between these and the um, lavender ones, but I'm glad I went with these because I have the lavender vapor maxes. But I wanted to show you guys these because they're very comfortable. It is the Flyknit Air Force Ones. They're very light. Not that the original Air Force Ones are heavy, once you try these on, you'll see what I'm talking about. There is a great difference. These are comfortable. They're cute. Sometimes I wear them with the strap open. Sometimes I take the strap off. I They're really comfortable. They look nice with um, dark wash jeans. We're almost done, guys. I'm so excited. Hey, these, I had my eye on these for quite a while, but I couldn't decide which colorway to get. A white with a red swoosh. These are the Ricardo... Um, to Tiski, that's sad that I don't know how to say this man's name. Um, but I had to get these. Red is my favorite, one of my favorite colors for sure, and they're just so nice. The leather quality is amazing. It's leather all throughout the shoe, on the outside and inside. These were just as hard to get as the Jordan 12 Chinese New Years. These reverse shattered backboards took me forever so one day you know here i am just la 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 mind my own little business and i see there's a size six and i'm like and it's on display so while i'm at work i'm like okay i hope nobody comes in and buys them because i really want them at the end of my shift when i as soon as i clocked out you saw me on the fourth floor grabbing that shoe because Yes, I did grab the size 6. It is a little tight. I didn't take the sole out because I like the net and the rim in there. So I camped out. It was freezing. 
freezing and I grabbed my pair I've worn these ones already they are so cute I do wish though that it had 23 on the back but it's okay 45 is cool <clears throat> and when they were camp when people were camping out for them the first 23 people in line ended up getting a free pair of beats headphones when I first saw them on cakes on fire these olive eights these under supposedly undefeated eights um I really wanted them now that I have them I'm not that crazy over them don't get me wrong they're cute or whatever but I don't know I I'm not as as happy and excited as I was to try and get them like when I and when I first got them I was like oh yeah I got them and now that I have them after some time I've only wore them once and now I'm like eh now these I entered the raffle and baby I was praying so hard to win and I did the top threes these are so freaking sick I love them G they look at that D, look at that you cannot go wrong with these Who, how how if I see somebody with these and they and their outfit is trash it's it's hard to have on a trash outfit with these like do you see all of the colors whoa do you see the the, the multitude of possibilities you can do with this show do you see do you see getting into my second pair of doc martens it's classic all black pair i had to get them they're really cute and they were on sale. I got them from Famous Footwear. Don't sleep on Famous Footwear. They have designer shoes for cheap. Why are they cheap? I don't know. Is there a defect on them? I don't think so. They look just like the ones that you see in the Doc Martens store. So, yeah, had to cop them. Glad I did. Three more shoes to go. Three more shoes to go. Got three more shoes to go. Uh -uh. Oh, oh, these are so long. are so cold oh my god yes at first when I saw these I was like I don't want those they're ugly they're not that amazing what's the point who came up with that idea and it was the wool 12s then when I got them and I was like you know what the wool on the grade school version is a little bit more fuzzy so I like that Secondly, these really keep your feet warm. Like in the winter time, if there's no snow on the ground for real, I'm throwing these on. Last but certainly not least, I've worn these once, the black toes. I got these, um, these came out before the top threes. So I got these to, you know, satisfy my top three fix before those came out and I haven't even worn them that much but they're really cute so here we are at the end I do want to say thank you so much for watching I know this video was extremely lengthy so if you've made it to the end congratulations and make sure you check the description box for any information you may be missing you feel me if you guys know anybody that is really good at customizing shoes, can you please, please, please leave their information in the comment box? If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please make sure to leave them down in the comment box down below. Follow me on all my social media platforms, Instagram and Twitter. Uh, those are The Pretty Sneed. You can also follow me on Snapchat. That is Bangzalot, B-A-N-G-G-Z-A-L-O-T. Anything else, I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much.